I'm Gabe Jewell, and you're watching Comic Smack, the weekly comic book show where we take a closer look at some of the coolest and most happening comic book storylines going on today. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at Extraordinary X-Men issue number six. What happens when the Merry Mutants take a road trip to Weird World? Well, let's hop on into the issue and find out for ourselves, shall we? So, as the comic opens, the Merry Mutants are running into quite a fair amount of resistance in Weird World. What's Weird World? Well, it's this kind of Conan side dimension that we originally saw in Secret Wars and proved so popular that it got its own book, so yeah. Or, as Old Man Logan so eloquently puts it, man, this place makes the Savage Land look tame in comparison. But how did we get here, you're probably asking yourself. Well, it seems that Storm dispatched a team of X-Men to try and rescue some Chinese mutants who found themselves lost in Weird World. Yeah, apparently Weird World is just like Albuquerque and you can end up there if you take a wrong turn. This is just one of many problems the X-Men are currently dealing with. In X-Haven we see that Nightcrawler is not doing so well after his last run-in with Mr. Sinister. Forge was able to reattach his tail, but the mental scarring, oh man, the mental scarring. This whole situation leaves Colossus feeling pretty damn impotent as well as he's unable to help his friend, a symptom not shared by his sister Magic, who is doing doing a good job right now mentoring that little girl who was able to control demons during the last siege. This little girl also just so managed to find a bunch of portals in and out of Limbo. One of those portals, you guessed it, goes directly to Weird World. The fighting in Weird World is tough, but we get an old man Logan to do a very old man fastball special, and he didn't even break his hip or nothing. That's pretty impressive. This newest issue actually did a pretty good job focusing on the second stringer X-Men like Anoli and Glob. Uh, Anoli especially gets a nice scene where and the older Iceman kind of talks to him and has a conversation about coming out and his younger self and everything like that. It's a really well-handled little bit, if you ask me. Oh, but not everything is so sunshine and rainbows in the mutant's world. You see, before this mission, Storm pulled old man Logan aside and said that one of these Chinese mutants they're going in to rescue was actually a mutant who supported Cyclops during his craziness. And Storm wants to make sure if they can't trust this guy, if things go sideways, that she can trust old man and Logan to end it you know, violently end it, like with murder and stuff. Now, who is this mutant that has Storm all scared? Well, as the comic ends, we discover that it's Sunfire? Say what? No, he, he never supported Cyclops. He was never on his team. Sunfire was on the Uncanny Avengers team. The last time we saw him, he turned himself into pure energy and fought the Celestials. Man, a lot must have happened in eight months. Extraordinary X-Men issue number six was a comic that spun a lot of plates. Some certainly better than others. I got plenty of good laughs at an even more curmudgeonly Wolverine trying to fit in with this team. And I felt there was a little bit of meta-text at work too in characters like Anoli and all these younger X-Men wondering why they never get a chance to fight and never get a chance to go on missions. Why is it always focusing on the same people, I ask you? Overall, a pretty solid issue. I would give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.